chance to compare themselves with other people and, and they learn from each other. I think it's a wonderful atmosphere. event is quite unique uh, because uh, the young pianists uh, are not only competing against each other uh, for the prizes, but they are also um, learning uh, during this competition. Uh, they are learning from the experience of performing in front of the audience, uh, big, challenging, uh, demanding repertoire. The standard is so exceptionally high and I think it's incredibly fairly done and, and totally without any um, speaking from the jurors, without any of the performance. Everything is private. Voting is private. And that's the way it should be. It's uh, very hard. I mean, one has to do the, his or her very best at the given moment. Not two minutes later, not two minutes before. And of course it, it requires uh, enormous concentration enormous um, willpower and, uh, uh, and the, but what is to my mind the most important is one must pass the message it's to say something devotion 
and we are eternally grateful for for this. Um, and I would like to uh, give uh, Ian a small gift tonight. This is a, a collection of uh, CDs, compact discs of my father. So um, I hope you enjoy the music of uh, Lev Vlasenko, um, whose name competition is Kerry. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to um, take you back um, a little bit and tell you the history of this event who was running for 21 years now. Uh, tell you a few words about Lev Lasenka, my father, uh, who was a great pianist, um, outstanding pedagogue, and a wonderful, great man um, who is remembered well all around the world, including Australia. He loved this country, he was um, really connected with uh, Australia closely by being professor consultant to major institutions um, around Australia. Um, jury member for Sydney International Piano Competition uh, for many years. Um, and uh, at the end, um, he actually was giving honorary doctor from Griffiths University, who is, as you know, of course, our major sponsor and supporter for many years. Um, his name is uh, big uh, around the world. Uh, there's a school, music school named after Lev Lasenko in Moscow. There is a festival running regularly in, in Moscow, um, including uh, Russian National Orchestra performing with uh, his former pupils and distinguished artists who play in his honor. But I'd like to go back to um, 1999 when we had the very first Lev Lysenko piano competition. No one knew about it at, at that stage. Um, it was here in this building. Uh, we were all uh, board members extremely nervous, excited, um, and um, that was beautiful gesture that we received on the day of the final night. Uh, we received a flower set setting from legendary American pianist Van Cliburn, uh, who was a great uh, friend of my father's, uh, and he wrote a beautiful card wishing this competition a wonderful journey in the future. Um, since then, we ha have been running for many, many years, um, and the uh, competition has grown in recognition, in, in a scope. Um, it became not just a competition, but festival as well, uh, including um, important educational program, uh, master classes, concerts uh, run by distinguished international and national jury members. Um, the opening at times uh, was done with um, Griffiths University Kunsthal Conservatorium Symphony Orchestra, Student Orchestra. The chairperson of the jury would play a concerto. Um, I must say that Griffiths was very supportive and the conservatorium was very supportive to this event uh, right from its beginning. So it became not just a competition, but a festival. Then there was a new addition to it, which we called Little Lev. Uh, some people find this name quite cute. This is for children, small children. Uh, they got involved as well, uh, arrived from uh, around Australia and performed here in front of distinguished jury members. And um, final performance was on the final night of the competition um, in front of big audiences in, in uh, the Conservatorium Theatre. We also included school program um, when contestants of the competition would go around Brisbane and perform and give master classes uh, at, at Brisbane schools, um, which was very well received by, uh, by kids and teachers. Um, and now I am very pleased to 
say that we have introduced a, a new format for the competition, um, partly due to COVID, but we think that it has potential for the future to become even greater national event because we are running it not just in Brisbane but also in Melbourne, Sydney and Brisbane, uh, still culminating here in Brisbane um, with Queensland Symphony Orchestra um, in Conservatorium Theatre. Um, but uh, the major development is, and this is with the help of our major sponsor Yamaha, Yamaha Piano, we have introduced Young Lev. So, uh, the Young Lev is a competition for uh, even younger pianists um, under 16. Uh, they will compete for the honor of playing in the final night with Queensland Symphony Orchestra, which is incredible experience, of course, for uh, young people. Um, when we started the competition, um, we had discussed it uh, a lot with my father when he was still alive, unfortunately. He passed away in 96 here in Australia. Um, he was very um, sure, very confident about talent, young talent here in Australia, but he always felt that it needs more encouragement, encouragement more challenge, um, something to work towards, not just to receive a scholarship of quite substantial money and then go overseas and um, realize suddenly that they are not up to the standard. That's not good for their confidence. So this event was designed to give them a real challenge. So um, it's a big, challenging, demanding solo program, solo repertoire and chance to play with professional orchestra, Queensland Symphony Orchestra um, in the finals. Um, so that will toughen them up, that, that will give them enough incentive to, to practice and to achieve this level. Uh, and I think after 2021 20, year of running the competition, we can say that it served its purpose somewhat. The standard of piano playing in the country has risen um, quite, um, quite a lot. Um, so that's, um, that's the history of the competition. And just a few words about the new um, Format including young live, so um, that is going to be even more challenging for the uh, very young people who eventually will probably enter the big level of Lesson Piano competition that will make them start um, striving for excellence even earlier. Um, but uh, we thought that we can't uh, run tonight's event without some music, so um, we decided to invite one young pianist here, who is not going to compete this year, but he is hoping to compete in the future. Um, he is a student of the Young Conservatorium, Winston Conservatorium Griffiths University, um, and he is going to play for us um, Allegro de Concerto by Granados, his name is Andreas Chen. Please welcome him.
It's my great pleasure to introduce and invite our new patron, who we are very, very fortunate to have, uh, Trevor Sunbaker. Please welcome him. Young Labs. Um, this national competition had been uh, had been studied for more than a decade before before the first time Judith and I were invited to, to a Levisenko piano competition finals night at what a wow. Four four wonderful concertos played by the finalists in company by the the uh, the wonderful Queensland Symphony Orchestra. Now, ten years later, as patron, and uh, and with everyone else doing so much, I, I, I must say, I'm, here I am um, um, making a welcome and saying a few words for a little bit I can do. But it, it's um, it, it's it's been an opportunity so exciting to be able to help to achieve a greater national recognition for this outstanding competition for aspiring young pianists from throughout Australasia along with recognition of the support it has had from the Queensland Conservatorium throughout its 20 years, and the importance in Australia's musical calendar of the Led of the Ledvisenko Piano Competition Finals Night. With the MSO joining the QSO this year as a performing partner and both awarding opportunities as performance partners for the competition finalists to perform with two of Australia's um, greatest symphony orchestras, and with Levisenko Piano Competition becoming a feature event in the biannual Queensland Music Festival. And, and this has all been accompanied with the addition this year of the new Young Lab Piano Competition, reaching out to younger piano players uh, all around Australia in a unique feature of, of piano competitions in Australia. And this year's finals night on Friday the 16th of July with finalists in both competitions performing with the Queensland Symphony Orchestra conducted by the Chief Conductor of the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra um, in the Concert Hall of the Queensland Conservatorium. And despite the difficulties caused by COVID-19, we're pleased to, um, th that, that the competition has already received 60 applicants uh, from both of across both competitions. On top of all of that, the competition is again honoured to have such a marvellous international lineup of jurors for the competition, chaired by Barry Douglas, CBE, and including one of the most popular visiting maestros with the QSO a couple of years ago, Sergio Tiempo. And to see his name there, he was just a wonderful um, uh, visiting maestro um, for, for the QSO. Besides Barry Douglas having a stellar international career as a concert pianist, when he won the International Tchaikovsky competition in 1986, Barry was the first non-Russian winner of the competition in 28 years. And, and tonight, via the magic of video, please welcome Barry Douglas. Hello everybody, I'm Barry Douglas and I'm speaking to you from Ireland. I'm hugely looking forward to the Lev Lasenka competition in Brisbane, in Australia, this year. Um, and we will be watching with bated breath from afar and listening to this wonderful music. And judging from the, the standard and the amazing artistry of the previous winners, I'm sure this year will be no exception. Uh, and I'm so looking forward to hearing great music played beautifully. Lev Lasenka, I was very lucky to have met him a few times in, in Moscow. Uh, he was a great Russian artist, a fabulous pianist and a wonderful person. I wish all participants the very best in this competition uh, and I will see you from afar uh, in the middle of July. All best wishes and play beautifully. Throughout uh, 21 years of the competition, we had 
many Australian pianists entering it, winning prizes, coming back. We counted the approximate figure of uh, around 800 of them throughout the years. Um, but uh, you can probably show the pictures of our first prize winners. Some of them are actually here today in, in this hall. Um, and uh, just look at them. <laughs> they have done very well throughout their careers, uh, winning very soon after Lev winning big international competitions uh, like Lance Gerben and John Chen, um, making great careers in all round way like Liam Wyden is here today uh, and, and many, many others. So we're very proud of them. Um, the prize money of the competition is quite substantial, it's more than 60,000 in, in prize money. They can win, they, they win also very valuable performance prizes. Um, it's now not only in Brisbane but in Melbourne uh, with other orchestras as well uh, and this is probably the most valuable thing for, for a young artist to get that recognition through the performance. Um, so, um, yes, thank you very much Trevor for introducing our jurors. If we can get the picture of our international jury, I will probably say a few more words. Um, you, you also, Barry Douglas, um, first prize winner of Tchaikovsky competition. There is also first prize winner of Sydney international competition, Russian pianist uh, Irina Plotnikova. And we all know um, Sergio Diempo, wonderful personality and, and great pianist. Um, so we're very pleased to have them. Uh, they will be judging the final night when the six performance, three big lefts and three young lefts will be playing. But we also have a very distinguished group of national jurors who will judge recital part of it. Um, they will be chaired by Stephen McIntyre from Melbourne. Uh, and the people who will join them will be uh, Konstantin Shamrai, who is based in Adelaide, also first president of Sydney International, by the way. Uh, and uh, also um, Daniel Herskevich from Sydney. That's a national. Jurors. Um, well, um, I think I told you everything. Um, uh, maybe we can see the picture of all the venues uh, where the solar rounds will take place. Um, it's um, it's a very exciting um, opportunity and making it really a truly national. But today we have a very special occasion um, here and I would like to invite Oleg Stepanov to talk about something very important for us. Ian 
I would like to thank you from behalf of all pianists of this country and beyond for what you have done uh, to this competition uh, and to develop it into what it is now. And it is my great pleasure today to offer you, from behalf of our board, lifetime membership in our organization. I 
didn't share his opinion. Another occasion, a female jury member from Italy could, I think, properly be described as a prima donna. Now, I don't say that critically. She was obviously used to adoring crowds in Rome. She was rock star. She just expected to be treated like royalty by us. And so we and the other jury members obliged, albeit periodically with a few wry smiles. But on one night, she lost a valuable piece of jewellery. She had all her other jury members and my committee searching for it everywhere, crawling around hands and knees in her mouth. Needless to say, of course, she found it in her hotel room later on the night. <clears throat> the same lady caused me a little distress when, while I was at work in my chambers as a barrister, I received a frantic phone call, I think it might even have been from Janine who's here tonight, one of our many helpers to help to tell me that the prima donna had a hair appointment and that someone had to take her to it. I was told that no one else was available and that in any event she was staying in the city and I was in the city so it would be easy for me. So I got my car out of the car park, drove down and picked her up at her hotel, went, went down a few blocks down Elizabeth Street to the bottom end of town, turned left and left again, back into Ann Street, then onto the South East Freeway and back onto Elizabeth Street to drop her about 150 metres up the road from where I picked her up. <laughs> <coughs> I tell you, I say this even now, I stay awake at night worrying about it. I'm ashamed to confess that my gallantry ended at that point and I asked her if indeed she'd be able to find her way back to the hotel 150 metres away, which she did. So I haven't lost too much sleep. There are many memories that I have. They're all happy. The competition has been successful, not just because of the financial generosity of many people, but also because of the very hard work of the directors, the billeting families, and the numerous volunteers who have given their time to make sure it all ran smoothly. I congratulate the present directors in managing to arrange the competition during these troubled times. While in the future I hope that we'll see plenty of live performance um, uh, and audiences being physically present. It's a fabulous effort for the competition to continue using modern technology as it has. I'm sure that knowing him, that Paul Carrasco, will make it all happen seamlessly. I'd like to finish by congratulating all, the, all concerned and wish the competition for this year every success. some of the slides here. Yeah. She's here. In the white dress. <laughs> uh, she's performing a recital as part of the uh, Performance Prize of 2019 Le Blasenko Piano Competition. Lian Jin. Uh, she's giving a recital of wonderful selection of uh, works by different composers at 7.30. So please stay on and um, enjoy it. And thanks and thank you to all of you for coming and being part of this event. Good night. So I'm bringing Wendy back for a couple of words. Once again, I want to acknowledge, first of all, Donald and Kate McGarry for what they have done for the setting up of this competition. Next I want to acknowledge Trevor and Baker and Damor's Yamaha, our partners and particularly QSO and Griffith University. I'd especially like to thank official partner Queensland Conservatorium 
Griffith University for their involvement and support over many years. I'd also like to thank the QSO for their involvement in the finals performance and the Queensland Music Festival, which is a great thing for us to be involved in as well. Lastly, I want to thank the board, the helpers, whoever's been attached with all of this, for the enormous amount of work I have put into it to get this thing going. And in particular, Jonathan Horton, who I think is a bit of a magician. Thank you all so much.